So let's look at another word problem that's typically solved with algebra, and then we'll look at an alternative method as well. So I see this problem. What three consecutive even integers add to 126? The um, reason why this is um, an algebra problem, again, is because I have these three mystery numbers. I don't know what they are, so I'm going to need to use a letter in order to represent uh, a mystery. Now, the problem is if I use three different letters, I'll never be able to solve my equation. You only want one type of letter in an equation if you want to be able to solve it, if you only have one equation, that is. So well, the first thing I need to do is I need to use the same letter to make an expression to represent each one of these. So let's let the first number equal x. It doesn't matter what letter you use. Okay, you can use the first letter of your name. I don't care. But let's let it equal x. Now, we've got to think about what it means for numbers to be consecutive, even integers. So if things are consecutive and they're even, well, we know that even numbers are numbers that end with 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So for example, 8 could be an even number, right? Uh, what would be the next consecutive even integer? It would be the next number after 8 that's even. Consecutive just means next. So the next one would be 10. Then after that would be 12. You're going to notice if I'm looking at consecutive even numbers, they're each two apart. So if I call the first number x, whatever it is, it's some mystery x, it might be 8, it might be 24, I have no idea what it is. The next number, whatever it is, the second number, would have to be 2 more than that. It would have to be x plus 2. In order for it also to be even, it would have to be 2 more than the first number. So I hope that makes sense. Then, so that would be the second number. What would the third number be equal to? Well, the third number would be just like I started with that x, and then I added that 2 to get to the second number, but then I'd have to add another 2. Okay, so another way to say this, uh, I'm too lazy to write x plus 2 plus 2 when I could just write x plus 4. So the third number would be 4 more than the first, and we can see why that would be up here, because again, if I'm going even numbers, each one is going to be 2 more than the next one. So great. Now I have an expression to represent each one of my numbers. The first number, the second number, and the third number. Now I've got to turn that expression into an equation in order to be able to solve. So take a look here. I need a relationship and I see one right here. It says that these three consecutive even integers that I just found, there they are, they add to 126. So no matter how ugly they are, we can still add them. We can take the first number, x, add it with the second number, x plus 2, and add it with the third number, x plus 4. And the total of all those should come to 126. And now that we've written our algebraic equation, it's really simple uh, to solve it. The first step is to simplify. Put together any numbers, do any math, you know how to do forwards on the left or right-hand side. Well, I see some work I know how to do on the left-hand side. There's a few x's, let me combine them. It's an x and another x and another x. That's a total of three x's. I also see some plain old numbers. I know how to combine plain old numbers. Positive 2 and positive 4 comes to plus 6, positive 6. And that whole thing on the left-hand side is equal to 126. Now, the simplifying that I know how to do is over with. It's time to start solving. It's trying to, time to start moving these numbers away so this letter can be alone. And the way we do that is by doing the opposite. I'm going to do the opposite of adding 6. I'm going to take away that 6 so it'll go away. Rule of algebra is I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. And so I subtract 6 from that side as well. On this side, adding 6 and subtracting 6 cancel, leaving me with just this 3x. And on this side, there's the math to do. 126 minus 6 gives me 120. I'm almost done. I'll be done as soon as my x is alone. So i got to get rid of this 3. In order to move a number over to solve, you do the opposite of what's happening. So what's happening when 3 and x are shoved together? Well, they're multiplying, and so I'm going to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide. Divide by 3. Rule of algebra is I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. So I jump over here, and I divide 3 on this side as well. So 3 divided by 3 cancels so that my x is alone, just like I wanted. And on this side, 120 divided by 3 gives me 40. And so what I just found out is my first number, my x, is equal to 40. 40. The x is 40. Well, let's think about it. If the x is 40, the next even number after 40 would be 2 more than that, or 42. And the next even number after that would be 4 more than 40, or 44. 40, 42, 44. Um, so those are my three numbers.